All right, this problem they're asking is to find the probability that a randomly chosen group of 36 females lost their virginity at an age under 16.2 years old. So let's draw the bell curve here. All right, so the reason why I'm drawing the bell curve is because it's a probability question. And they have a group of 36 females, and we're looking at their average age, right? So it's talking about what's the probability that a randomly chosen group of 36 females lost their virginity at an age under 16.2 years old. So that would be an average age of 16.2. This is for a group of 36. Now, as long as n is over 30, we can assume that the distribution of x bar will be normal. So the mean for this problem, according to what we're looking for, which is females here, it says that for females or women, it was 17.3 years, the average age. So 17.3 would be here. Now 16.2, of course, is to the left. Draw your line there, and we're looking for an age under 16.2, so we're shading the area to the left of 16.2. Now at that point, what's left to do is convert this into a z-score, but we're going to need a standard deviation, but one for x-bar, not the standard deviation they gave us initially of 2.17. That's not the right number for us. Okay, so we're going to divide that by the square root of the 36. And of course, that's going to be 2.17 over 6. All right, this can be worked out into a decimal. And let's go ahead and do that quickly. So it'll be 2.17 divided by 6. And we get 0.3616 repeat in. So I've gone ahead and written down five decimal places. That's going to be enough to help us get the right answer when we do our conversion into our z-score. Okay, so let's go ahead and convert 16.2 into a z-score then. So we want to convert that number. We'll subtract off its mean then. And we'll divide by this new standard deviation of 0.36167. Okay, so I'm going to do 16.2, and I'm just going to illustrate how you would do this all at once in your calculator. I know this arithmetic can be done in your head, some of it, but I'm going to do it this way just so you can see how this would be done. So 0.36167. Of course, in this graphing calculator, I could just pull this answer down here so I didn't have to round it all. But since we wrote down five decimal places, let's just use those. And I'm done. I get negative 3.04 for my z-score. So negative 3.04. All right, so that's your z-score that's going to go down here. If I look it up, I'm going to get the area from here to here, which is not what I want, but it's going to be something that will help me get the area in the tail. Okay, so here we are on the z-chart. I'm going to look up negative 3.04 or just 3.04. So scroll way down to the bottom where the 3.0 exists. And then at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, you get 0 0.4988. 0 0.4988. So 0 0.4988 is the value here. And then we simply do 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4988, which of course gives you 0 0.0012.